morning, Tube. So today is a new day. Um, it's Wednesday, about five days, five days after my meet. Um, I decided that I'm going to be doing, well, I already decided that I'm going to be doing a cut into Worlds, but I'm just basically going to make it into a series, vlog the whole thing, show you guys um, the amount of cardio that I'm doing while cutting into a powerlifting meet because I feel like this is something kind of different as opposed to prepping into a show. Um, and I'm just going to be basically showing you guys uh, what I'm eating all the time and what my macros are at and just uh, talking about how my weight, you know, fluctuates and stuff like that. So we're going to start off this morning with some coffee because I can finally have coffee. And last night I literally only got three hours of sleep because I could not sleep. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. show you guys what I'm having for my first meal which is what I'll usually have um, I'll usually have four servings of egg whites in the morning um, some kind of carb this morning I'm just gonna have a Guerrero's tortilla I love tortillas so good even though this one is kind of high fat obviously I'm gonna link the macros um, just something quick I'm having this bread um, I forget what it is called. Hold on. There we go. Dave's bread. It's sliced whole grain seeds. Um, has like some omega three in it, fiber, protein, and I'm having some strawberry sugar free jam on it. Um, before I actually head into the gym, I'm gonna have some glutamine creatine supplements that I swear by um, and fish oils you should definitely be taking fish oils uh, even if you do not lift they're just essential for your health in total so that's what I'm having for my first meet guys what's up guys so I actually ended up going to the gym earlier which was awesome um, I finally got in like a bodybuilding accessory type workout which was great because literally all the strength training I've been doing compiling the cardio because I was doing a cut um, has just been it, it was way too taxing at the end of the day to try and get in more accessory movements meaning like just less compound basically no squats deadlifts stuff like that heavier movements movements that hit more muscle groups than just one um, but basically I'm here at Pete's right now um, in my little cute little plaza this is where I come and I'll do like client work and skypes uh, and uh, just relax and knock out a whole bunch of work. I feel like I'm just like in my zone here. So I just set up my tripod. So if you see people walking past, don't be weirded out. Um, anyways, guys, just wanted to tell you what I got from Pete's. I got Pete's iced coffee, and they have like the best creamer ever, Jessica. Um, my roommate just confirmed out. She discovered it, so now we're like addicted to it. It literally tastes like coconut. Um, I was talking about it on my snap. By the way, if you aren't following me on Snap, I will link it below. Revelo underscore end shape. Go ahead and follow me for my daily life things. Pete's iced coffee, medium in a large with extra ice, some coconut cream, and I got, uh, I put one Splenda in it. I'm gonna be doing a cut series. You see people looking at me weird, guys. <laughs> Just don't mind, pay attention to me. Sorry, I need this, this needs to kick in because not, and we're not gonna get work done today. The rest of this week, I'm just gonna be on 150 carb, uh, 40 to 45 fat, and 140 protein. Um, I think that's around like 1600 calorie breakdown series. Um, Cause I just wanna show you guys basically how I go about my cuts, even going into a powerlifting meet. I feel like this is bringing you something different as opposed to if I were to be prepping into a uh, bikini, bikini, competition because I feel like a lot of people think that you can't cut when you're strength training so I just want to show you guys that you can because I've done it in both my um, you know comp 
competition preps into both my powerlifting meets and I PR'd on everything, for example. So anyways, those are the macros that I'm gonna be on for now. Um, earlier, I just started off with like some egg whites. I showed you guys tortilla and like toast and jelly. Um, I just brought my banana cream pie, BPI proteins. Have some quick protein while I'm here working. Um, for a snack, I just brought some trail mix. Um, getting good fats with nuts and who doesn't love trail mix? I love trail mix. Okay, so I'm gonna basically showing you um, my cut into the meat. I showed you guys at one, it kept going between 142.8 and 143. You guys know that scales are just never always super accurate, so don't take them too seriously. So I'm sitting around 142.8, 143. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to go over. Is there something else? I'm gonna be, you know, as the series episode episodes of the series go on, I'm gonna be showing you uh, what I'm eating, my cardio regimen that I'm gonna be on, um, and I just want to kind of dive a little bit into crash dieting and how you could avoid plateaus. I feel like a lot of people think that if you automatically lower your calories or your macros, oh, that girl's rocking out. Anyways. If you automatically lower your calories and your macros and you like crazy up your cardio, that can actually do the complete opposite of losing weight. Just because it's such a drastic, it's such a drastic 360 for your body. Um, and you know, you, like when you're doing cardio, when you're weightlifting, all that stuff is a stress to the body. It is a good stress, but it's still taken as a stress. Uh, so if your body just feels like this, you know, 360 change immediately and just just compiling stress with the super low calories um, You know your core your cortisol is going to shoot to the roof especially especially for women If you want to go about dieting the correct way get a coach look up macros um, You know start tracking with my fitness pal weigh yourself every single morning and if the weight is not fluctuating uh, then you know, maybe you need to drop your cardio, or maybe you need to up your your calories. It's 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 really, it's it's every it differs to everybody. So that's something that I wanted to touch on is that, um, you know, by plummeting your calories and by upping your cardio, that can actually do the complete opposite for weight loss. So that is what I also wanted to touch on. Um, going about it the right way, whether that being a coach, doing a little bit more research, uh, because again, I can't sit here and say, my macros would be good for you, my macros you're gonna lose weight on, because everybody is different and it's very, very individual. Um, so anyways, guys, actually that puts bring me to a different note. I actually just got my website up, so I am offering, um, or taking on clients right now, powerlifting, um, coaching, I'm off offering bikini prep, um, and just you know overall weight loss and um, just overall health so go check it out noellarevelofitness.com um, I actually super excited about that I just got it up like a week and a half ago I was working on that while I was working on a whole bunch of other things and I am also working on an ebook that is what I'm gonna be working on right now super super excited about it um, and I also wanted to say if I personally were to write an ebook um, what kind of ebooks would you guys want to see from me I just want to know. So comment below, please, 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 because I am in the process of working on ebook. I have been for a few weeks, um, but I'm, I, I want to bring more ebooks to you guys because I just have a lot of knowledge to share with my experience with bikini, with my experience with uh, powerlifting, um, and just all over fitness. When you have to get water from your water bottle to get ooh, to get that protein, you know. So another thing that I kind of wanted to touch on, actually, this is why I decided to jump into an, another vlog is. Um, I'm going to show you guys that when you ever hear people say that everybody is very individual and different as far as how they're 
just weight loss process goes um, obviously when you reach you know a leaner body fat it's gonna be a lot harder um, to lose weight at any rate that you had been going so if you're doing 500 calories every single day obviously the leaner you get it's gonna become harder even if you're doing the same amount of cardio every day but I just want to uh, you know be able to show you through these like through this entire series that everybody is very very uh, different and I have always been the person to where I retain a lot of water weight easily uh, so you know you can retain water weight from anything sodium uh, uh, stress uh, physical stress meaning weightlifting so I retain a lot of water so my my weight my weight scale or when I weigh myself it always is up and down you know I'll have clients that'll you know gradually lose you know a few ounces every single day um, just you know perfectly losing their weight but for me I have always been somebody who kind of just is and I just I suck when it comes to that so my body just loves to retain water okay I'm full of it uh, that's probably why I sweat freaking like a man literally I literally sweat like a man it's like it's not even cool actually Please somebody tell me what this catching Pokemon thing is and I feel like I should be playing because while I sat at Pete's Probably about every single other person that crossed by was looking for Pokemon So should I play should I do a vlog on it? I think it would be fun and random So comment below let me know if you guys want me to do that because I mean I feel like I'm missing out playing po not playing Pokemon or something so please but give it a thumbs up if you like it helps me out a ton helps me share the video and I love you guys I'm about to go do some cardio